well. Saudi Arabia are kicking off about the possible release of the omitted 28 pages of the 9-11 Commission report. A report, I might add, that six of the ten commissioners themselves believe the US government lied to them about the official version of events that day. Because of the likes of US Senator Walter Jones, Rand Paul and others, existence of the missing 28 pages from the 9-11 Commission is becoming more and more widely known. For years, people who dared question the official government conspiracy theory about the events of 9-11 were labelled a conspiracy theorist, despite the official versions of events on 9-11 being virtually impossible to anyone with a brain that can add two and two and come up with four. Nevertheless, the official version has stuck with most of the public, sadly. Was it Hitler or Goebbels who said, if you tell a big enough lie and tell it frequently enough, it will be believed? And that's the perfect example of the official version of 9-11. To any thinking person, there was a problem about what we were being told about 9-11 from day one. But the bought and paid for mainstream media slavishly read unquestioningly what was on their teleprompters. Thus the fix was in and the official version of It's Bin Laden, Let's Get Him was born. However, the release of the 28 pages could change everything. To be honest, we don't really need to see the 28 pages to know what's in them and work out what happened because the people who've read them have virtually given the game away. Far from Bin Laden being behind 9-11, it would appear that the 28 pages would officially reveal that it was the American and Britain's great buddies, Saudi Arabia, who were in fact behind the 9-11 attacks. Loving Saudi Arabia, who behead gay people and behead children, along with hundreds of others every year. But not only that, the 28 pages are believed to also reveal that the American government actively covered up Saudi Arabia's involvement in 9-11. Imagine that. American government officials actually covered up for the real attackers on 9-11. They allowed Americans to be killed by their great mates Saudi Arabia and then covered up for them. Treason. This is in fact beyond treason. Bush, Cheney, Rumsfeld, Rice, Rove, all of them need to swing for what they've done. Imagine, God forbid, you lost a loved one in the 9-11 attacks and now you find out that it was your own country's busy mate, Saudi Arabia, that actually carried out the attacks, but even worse, your own government covered up for them. This is staggering. I don't think for one moment that Obama will release these 28 pages officially, but he shouldn't have to. There's enough evidence in the public domain now for a massive worldwide protest calling for the true perpetrators of 9-11 to be arrested, tried and executed if found guilty. And this includes the people in the US government who covered up for them. Just because the man on the telly hasn't said what's in the 28 pages yet doesn't mean it wasn't written. And it doesn't mean it hasn't been seen by senators. It was and it has. And we now know. We know. Saudi Arabia. You see, now it makes sense, doesn't it, why 15 of the 19 so-called hijackers were from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia trying to bribe America not to pass a bill that will ensure the release of the 28 pages by saying they're going to sell some $750 billion worth of US assets if they pass the bill. That doesn't scream, shit, they're onto us, let's bribe them quick before the world catches on, does it? Oh no, no, as innocent as Fred West's, the Saudis. Saudi Arabia are supporting ISIS, they're their principal supporter and principal funder, along with, dare I say it, America. Saudi Arabia are committing war crimes in Yemen with British 
weapons. Saudi Arabia are scum. The British government are even facilitating the murders by Saudi Arabia in Yemen because we've been selling weapons to these known terrorist supporters purely for profit for big arms companies. You think national governments like our government in the UK didn't know about Saudi Arabia's involvement in 9-11? Of course they knew Saudi Arabia were behind the 9-11 attacks. Just like our government knew that Jimmy Savile was procuring children for the rich and famous. The government are just scared who out of us knows as well. They're all in it together. It's a big bloody club and we're not part of it. This all makes the blood spilled in the name of fighting terror in vain. Saudi Arabia carried out 9-11 with the American government's cooperation. Unbelievable. Robin, in case you're watching this, you may have been to New York post 9-11, you may have visited Ground Zero, you may have lost a friend in the attacks, but for God's sake, mate, for their sake, wake up. It wasn't Bin Laden. Stop being a chump. Think about the implications of the 28 pages. Think about it, man. Saudi Arabia, with the assistance of the US government to cover up their involvement, carried out 9-11. And when the 28 pages finally get released, when a senator finally grows a pair of balls big enough to actually come out and tell us exactly what's in those pages, your perception of the world will come crashing down with it. Stop being gaslighted. Wake up!